All right, what is up, YouTube? Bell Beancher's Pums here with another video. And as you can see, this is the next video um, regarding how to protect your Mexican fan palm. So, again, if this was a Kelly or a Kelly hybrid, I probably wouldn't be protecting it. But it seems how this is a Mexican fan palm and it's like borderlining um, hardiness zones from where I live and from where it came from. Uh, I think I think Las Cruces is like zone, I think it's like zone nine or zone eight, something like that. And we are zone seven B, seven A. So we're kind of borderlining that territory. So of course we will get a few cold nights. So to where it could kill this thing. But anyway, I have it protected. Uh, so the way I did it, I double layered it so I have the whole perimeter of the outside uh, with plastic stapled to the PVC pipe which is stapled to the 2x4s down there and then I did an inner lining so there's the second layer of plastic uh, which is stapled from the inside to the bottom of these 2x4s and it's gonna probably hold a lot of humidity in here so the one thing I need to do is uh, make some holes or something or some gaps for the air to flow so it's not just like constricting it's it's breathable you know and it's uh, that way the humidity won't build up but yeah this is basically like a little mini greenhouse here um, but yeah not too hard uh, it's taken me the better part of the day to, to complete this because I've needed to get some more material but I have each piece each joint of these PVC pipe uh, screwed on together each joint uh, each corner I'll show you here each joint right there you can see it's uh, screwed from the joist on the bottom to the two joists at the top so um, that's how it was put together and all I had I just used the three quarter inch uh, PVC pipe uh, 10 feet I had to cut them in half so roughly about five feet long each way um, so five by five by five and as you can see the way I did it in here that's how I did the, that's how I secured it have it secured. It's a double wall. And it's stapled in each spot. Might need to add more staples to a point, but uh, it's mainly complete. I And then I taped up all the seams, as you can see. All taped up, so... Yeah, it's looking really good. Like, again, I just need to add some holes or some ventilation and should be good. I don't think I'll have to put burlap or anything on it. Uh, I just need to make sure that there's enough heat in the box, in the greenhouse, uh, to protect it. I do also have my heat cable plugged in in case if, let's say, the lights fail. I do have that to somewhat protect the roots. Um, I might get some more lights in here. Seems how it's such a big box. I don't think three strands of 20 mini lights are gonna really, uh, that's a, I don't think it's really gonna help much in providing enough warmth for the whole box, but as long as I can keep it below freezing and at least maybe above in the 50s, 60s, 70s, uh, it should do just fine. But yeah, that's how that's doing. We'll go take a look at the rest of the yard. The main reason I started protecting the Mexican fan pond is because it is an actual Mexican fan pond. It isn't a hybrid or Kelly kind that could afford to be protected I mean to go without protection so yeah that's the main reason why I uh, protected it they claim that we're supposedly going to be getting a possible chance of snow showers Sunday night Monday morning maybe Tuesday morning somewhere around there I'm highly doubting it but the Arizona forecast uh, for ABC 15 uh, news uh, said that there was a storm system brewing in Colorado. It's going to 
give uh, Denver at least a couple nights of snow or days of snow and then uh, it's going to work its way to New Mexico which is where I am and it's going to be northern New Mexico all the way down to Albuquerque so they're saying we could get a decent we could get some snow uh, possibly by Halloween um, I'm doubting it but you never know they nevertheless they said we're going to get freezing temperatures for the, here on out at least for uh, the nights but anyway uh, track is looking really nice look how nice it is it's opening another front look at it it's finally doing good it's actually has a decent amount of growth on it and it had a pretty good year I must say not as much growth as I was wanting but you could definitely see how much it's growing the more water you give it uh, the better but yeah, everything's still looking really nice out here. I haven't brought anything in uh, yet. Uh, we've been getting lows of like 40s, low 40s roughly. Um, Canary Island date palm doing really nice as you can see. Has a whole bunch of fronds opening up in there. Starting to fill in a lot more after I repotted it. That's going to probably need to be repotted very soon. Um, as you can see it's going, it's pushing a lot now so probably going to have to be repotted real soon maybe again probably by uh, beginning of spring if not the end of winter but I made sure I, per I did it now so I don't have to worry about it over the winter uh, and then the sable that's still has a little bit of ways before I need to repot it but it hasn't really grown a whole lot but it's opening another front as you can see man. it's pretty much fully out so that will make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fronds for it, which isn't too bad. Uh, I also remember I planted a seedling in here and it was uh, from Bucky. And as you can see, it took so long to finally sprout. I don't even know what happened to my other sable seed, seeds that I planted, but there it is. A seedling that I sprouted from seed. Uh, I'm going to have to bring in the pineapple because that's basically, it's pretty much done growing for the year, so I have to bring in that. So we will have to bring in uh, all these little seedlings, uh, probably just bring in so they don't freeze because if they were in the ground it'd probably survive much better, but it, they're in pots so it makes their cold hardiness uh, not as strong i mean i'm sure i'll leave a few out just to see to experiment because i can afford to i really don't care if i ha if i lose a few um just see how they do kind of experiment that way these i don't know i want to i want to keep them inside well maybe i'll leave one outside and keep one inside and see how they do um in comparison they're almost catching up to this one they're getting real big this one has a little tiny frond on it. it has another spear looking pretty good decent sized little trunk these two are starting to look nice starting to push uh, the entire petiole out too so those will be real nice next year I, I know they'll probably be the size of that so or bigger Mediterranean fan palm actually doing really well still pushing growth um, this is the end of October, so has what one, two, three fronds that it pushed out. It just pushed out an entire one right here, so and it's opening another one at the same time. So that's actually done pretty decent as far as growth this year. So I'm glad it's still growing. And as long as this wall stays really hot, it, they'll grow. These ponds are still growing, and we're at the end of October, so it still gets really hot at. Right? really hot behind this wall so definitely love the heat as much as possible that's why I moved everything from over here to that I had against the wall over here because it's warmer and as far as a blue Mexican fan palm I'll probably keep uh, inside for the main part I'll take it out maybe during the day and leave it out uh, leave it leave it in at night take it out during the day leave it in at night but Still looking really pretty. Look how beautiful the blue is on there. They look kind of green, but at the same time, they're real silverish, bluish color. I really love the color of this. As you can see, it gets greener at the 
more at the base of the pedio, uh, but it just pushed out this frond here. So has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fronds on it. Hmm. That's pretty well. I can't complain about that. So yeah, just a quick yard update. I might take the box off of the Mexican fan palm uh, temporarily uh, for Halloween, just so it doesn't look so bad when I have people around the house, uh, trick-or-treaters, and at least they'll be able to see the palm, and then I'll cover it at the night, but yeah, grass is still doing good. It's going to need to be cut soon. Trees are still green. They haven't really started turning they're still real green so yeah i probably won't have to be protecting these for at least another few more days so uh these will enjoy i mean you won't know it now you won't know we're going to be getting freezing temperatures uh right now but because it's still pretty warm and nice out here i think you said like 75 today 73 so still pretty warm Especially if when you're next to a wall, that's going to get like at least uh, 80, 80, probably 85 or close to 90 degrees uh, against the wall. So, yeah, no need to bring in the ponds yet, but in a few more days I will. So, anyway, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. This is kind of a quick how to video of uh, protect your ponds over the winter. I, in total, probably spent maybe near 100 for everything but considering how much cheaper it was than and easier it was than having to cut the wood and having to cut the insulation panels it was a lot easier uh, and this is probably this is a quick fix an easy way to protect it I, again I just need to make ventilation holes and it should be good to go and I'll be able to see how the pond is doing just from looking at through the plastic uh, so hopefully I won't have and it'll be easy to water it too so Anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think of this method and uh, let me know if you guys are going to try it or if you have any palms that you need to protect. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Uh, the last thing I need to get is a temperature and humidity sensor so that I can mount in there and uh, I'll be able to see how much the humidity is inside the box. And I'll be able to monitor it from inside the house. So. Anyway, uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and as always, we will see you in the next one.